Hi, I'm Byron. I'm happy to share this quote with you today. This quote was originally shared on the BJJ Brick podcast by one of our guests. If you enjoy the quote, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then go check out the podcast. It's a weekly show. We talk about lots of jujitsu. So here goes the quote. I think my favorite quote is the one on my site, by Master Enzo Gracie, the fighting is the best thing a man can have in his soul. And, I, you know, that, I take, it kind of hits me in a personal level because my mom, you know, ever since I was a kid, she'd always tell me, you know, you're such a fighter. You're so, you just, I've always kind of done my own thing. And I marched the beat of my own drum. I've moved from city to city with nothing but a backpack on me. And so, you know, every time I, I, every time I um, you know, encounter adversity or encounter some kind of struggle, you know, she's always admired my ability to get past it and without asking for help. I've never really asked her for help. And I hate when my mom asks me for help. And I know some, or sorry, offers help, not asks me for help. My mom asks me for help. I'm always there for her. But, you know, I hate, <laughs> what she offers, I hate when she offers me, you know, some kind of help. And I, you know, I have to refuse her because I'm trying to do my own thing. And she says, no, 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 please. It, it means a lot to me. And then when I refuse, she starts feeling bad about it. So I have to take a $20 bill from her whenever, whenever I go visit her. Right. And so she's, she, anyway, she's always, she's always admired my, my, uh, my resilience and my ability to overcome anything that was kind of thrown in my direction. And so she says, she says that she's admired that trait in me since I was a little kid. And I think that, you know, I think that that saying by Master, Master Henzo, you know, I think it's, it's huge because I think the, the, best thing about a person is their ability to overcome odds. You know, life's not easy. You know, I was at a Dracolino seminar uh, last year, and uh, he was talking about how there was a black belt ceremony, and he was talking about, he gave a spiel at the end, I think a few people got their black belts, and how he was so, you know, impressed and inspired by the level of difficulty that it takes for people to get their black belt. And he said, you know, he kind of compared it to other martial arts where black belts are kind of given away for cost of tuition. And he says, you know, black belt is a very, very difficult belt to attain. And he says, he ends the speech with, for the rest of my life, I hope it's the same. And so it kind of, it kind of led, it made me think about all the struggles that I've had in my, in my jiu-jitsu tenure. And see, it's funny because being the purple belt in my school, I'm one of the, one of the higher ranked belts. Uh, it's weird because we have maybe one brown belt and everybody else is black belt in addition to everybody being under me. So I'm kind of in the middle somewhere, but higher middle. Everybody thinks that, oh, he's got two stripes on his purple belt. He's been training for five years. This guy, he's got it, you know, he's got it made. It's always easy for him. You know, he doesn't understand the struggles that we go through. And I go through the same struggles every single day of my life. You know, every single day, there's one, you know, there's a little piece of me that says, oh, maybe I shouldn't train today. Oh, I'm tired today. Maybe I shouldn't go this far. I have my thesis due. Maybe I should not do, maybe I should not train today. And maybe I should work on my thesis a little bit. And so I have these same struggles, the same obstacles that most people have every single day of my life. And so I think that my ability to fight through these struggles and continue the course and brave the storm, and like I said earlier, just keep showing up regardless of what's being thrown at me, I think that's probably one of the things that resonates with me, uh, with me most as far as one of my favorite quotes.